Nintendo took down popular Switch emulator Yuzu, and I'm not gonna sit here and be an armchair lawyer and argue whether or not their operation was legal, because regardless, they're gone and they owe Nintendo big money. And I'm not gonna pretend that most people didn't own Yuzu to pirate games a week early. Sure, there's people who legally own games that emulate, but that is in no way the majority and it's stupid to even argue that it is. And it's funny that in the early 2000s, I used to play brand new Game Boy Advance games on an emulator I found from simply Googling. <laughs> how times have changed. But okay, taking down a Nintendo Switch emulator is one thing, but this also got a 3DS emulator taken down. Whoa there, buddy! Y'all can't be doing that after you shut down the 3DS store. Consoles that no longer have a digital storefront or never have one to begin with, 100% should be emulated. The Switch's sad excuse for a virtual console is garbage. <laughs> I shouldn't have to wait and see if you had a rare Super Nintendo game I want to play or pay $500 on eBay. What about a GameCube? The DS? The 3DS? The Wii U? Once Nintendo shuts down the store on a console, then why wouldn't I homebrew the console? I'm not selling a kidney to buy games off eBay that I don't even know if suck or not. But regardless of the reason people use emulators, whether they're pirating or own the games or what, it doesn't matter. They shouldn't be going after emulators because whenever the Nintendo Switch is old and there's no emulators to play it on and their storefront's down, then you're gonna be paying $10 billion on eBay to play Breath of the Wild. 